Welcome to another video from Between CAD Classes. In this video, I'm going to show you the most compelling reason to update your Autodesk Inventor 2023 software. The specific feature that we're going to look at today actually came in 2023.1, but now the current release is 2023.2. So as long as you install that one, you'll get the previous updates as well. Your Inventor software can be updated by using the Autodesk desktop app. So you should see that out on your desktop. Personally, I don't always run out and install these updates, but when I learned of this particular update, I had to update Inventor right away. Taking a look at my Inventor sketch here, I would ask if this has ever happened to you, but I'm sure it has. It's happened to every Inventor user. I come in here and I have these two circles and I want to make them horizontal to each other. So I select my horizontal constraint and instead of horizontal, the line is vertical on my screen. This is based upon my view cube orientation. So horizontal actually is up and down on my screen. I'm rotated. So generally I will either rotate my view or go ahead and switch to the vertical constraint. The fantastic new feature that we have here in Autodesk Inventor is you can now hold the shift key to cycle back and forth between horizontal and vertical. Rather than going in selecting the vertical constraint instead, I can hold the shift key and very simply create my vertical constraint now. I can now use this tool to very quickly cycle back and forth between horizontal and vertical constraints. Here I've got a shape that I want to be a rectangle. I can now simply come through here and either holding or letting go of the shift key, I can very quickly turn this into a rectangular shape. So a very small and easy to use feature, but I think a game changer when you're sketching in Autodesk Inventor, just simply hold the shift key and cycle in between horizontal and vertical constraints. If I missed another cool feature in the updates that you loved, please comment below and let me know what you liked. Thanks for watching.